So this problem states, flying against the jet stream, a jet travels 4,000 miles in four hours. Flying with the jet stream, the same jet travels 11,200 miles in eight hours. What is the rate of the jet in still air and what is the rate of the jet stream? So to figure out when we're given um, a mileage and a number of hours, we're looking for the jet, um, the rate, we're probably going to be using the equation distance is equal to rate times time. Keep in mind that when a jet is flying against a jet stream, that means that the rate of the jet will be will be subtracting the rate of the jet stream because when you're flying against it it's pushing against you but then when it's flying with the jet stream it's helping the jet fly and so then we'll be adding it adding that rate so let's call if we call the rate of the jet we'll call that r and the rate of the jet stream let's call that x if we use those variables we can set up an equation for the first set of information. When we travel 4,000 miles, that would be a distance of 4,000. So we can plug in for 4,000 and for the D. And that's equal to the rate, which is the rate of the jet. And again, we're flying against the jet stream, so that would be subtracting out the rate of the jet stream times the time, which is four hours. So this would be one setup of an equation. Let's set up another equation using the second set of information. The second set says the distance is 11,200 miles. So we'll plug in 11,200 for the distance. And that's equal to its rate, which this time it's flying with the jet stream. So that would be the rate of the jet plus the rate of the jet stream, since they're flying in the same direction and the jet stream is helping the jet fly in eight hours, so times eight. So again, this is distance is equal to rate times time, and again, distance is equal to rate times time. From here, we want to solve these two equations as a system. So first, just to simplify a bit, I would divide both sides by four on this equation. To simplify, 4,000 divided by 4 is 1,000. And this 4 divided by 4 cancels out. It leaves us just with r minus x. And let's do a similar idea over here. Let's divide both sides by 8. And 11,200 divided by 8 is 1,400. So 1,400 is equal to r plus x. Okay, so now that we've simplified our equations a bit, um, because we have a minus x and a plus x, I think that the easiest strategy would be to use um, not substitution, but elimination. So if you haven't learned elimination yet, then leave me a comment in the comments and I will do a different strategy. But I would start by using elimination because I think that's the easiest strategy. So if we take 1,000 is equal to r minus x, and then we'll put underneath that 1,400 is equal to r plus x, because when we, when we have one term that's a minus and one that's a plus with the same coefficients, that will cancel out. And if we add these two lines together, we get 2,400 is equal to r plus r is 2r. We can finish solving for r by dividing both sides by 2, and we get r is equal to 2400 divided by 2 is 1200, or 1200. And just really quick, that would give us a unit of, because our distance is in miles and our time is in hours, our rate is in distance divided by time. So that would be miles per hour. Okay, so that gave us our rate. That's the first question. What's the rate of the jet in still air? Would be 12,000 miles per, or excuse me, 1,200 miles per hour. And then to find the rate of the jet stream, we can plug this rate into either one of our equations. Let's just plug it in to this one here just to choose one. So 1,400 is equal to 1,200 plus x. 
To finish solving for x, we can move the 1200 to the other side by subtracting it on both sides because that would cancel it out, leaving just x. And 1200, excuse me, 1400 minus 1200 is 200. And again, that would be a unit of miles per hour. I didn't really give myself enough space there, but I think you get the idea that the rate of the jet stream would be 200 miles per hour. Okay, so I hope this video step-by-step -step solution was helpful for you. If it was, please like the video and share with anybody who you think might find these types of videos helpful. Also, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Um, and like I mentioned before, comment if you have any questions or if you'd like to see it worked out in a different strategy if you haven't learned this uh, type of strategy in your class yet. And um, thanks for watching.